Here, scoot in a little further. I'll, right. I'll, move, I'll move my knee. Right. I've, I, I've, I've, I've just been. Whoa! Uh, the camera's tracing my face. You can't see this on the capture, but I can see it. I've just been. I've just been watching some of that uh, uh, Rhett and Link, and so now I've got a little bit of a uh, some sort of a fake drawl. No, I right. unlike so, um, their real drawl. I'm not trying to compl- suggest. Hey, welcome back. Hey, welcome back. We've to... been on hiatus for a long time. We don't even remember where the. Uh, hell... Well, on some kind of island that's floating. I think it's like I don't know, demons or something. I can't remember. Yeah, we we don't even know what game this is. Is this? Uh, this looks like one of those harp, this... ar- harpy G's. Yeah, it's a harpy G. That's why there's flying guys. Of course, harpies. God. Hey guys, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you think that there are har- harpies are out of control. Yeah. Because. Frankly, um, we need to get a new government in here, and Harpy's just not doing it for us. Political joke. So apparently we're very underleveled. I think uh, we took our worst guys here, and also this place is 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 crazy difficult. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna say that it's too difficult. It's just fucking impossible. This is yeah. like I think this is the first part of the game where basically you're thrown into a situation. Really, I think this is the first time in the game where you're thrown into a situation. Uh-huh. Where you just like winning is not an option. Yeah, it's it's so hard because because what they do in this section is they place you. Uh, we've gotten very dark over there. Whoa, Shadow Man. You know what? This isn't going to be the main focus anyway. We've gotten yes, dark. Whatever. We've got we've gone dark. Uh, just like um, uh, Seal Team Six. There you go. Um, but no, this is the first part where they where they thrust you into the situation where they basically say, "Oh, you want to move on to the plot." Move up here, and you're like, I don't know what that means, but sure. And then there's no save spot as you go through like enemies that can kill you in one hit, yeah. enemies that can wipe out your entire party in a few moves, um, enemies with powerful magic, poisons. You may not be like, you may just not be prepared. See, we're, we're light again. It's just there you the, go. It's just magic. It's just the sun is moving around like my sun moves around, which is quickly. Yes, exactly. Um, since we uh, were playing this last, I have a second child. He's a little over uh, one years old now, coming up on one and a half by the time this video comes out. Ha ha! Uh, I don't know if that's a ha ha moment. It was for me. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! This is with a uh, uh, person who doesn't exist animate somebody swinging in on like a rope holding a sword or just just, just show, show the thing from Monty Python. Python. They did yeah, um, So anyway, we're we're playing a bit of Final Fantasy Sax. Playing the feud. Um, if you haven't watched the rest of our series, don't. Um, we're just pretend this is where we started. We yeah. started a save file that's on the floating continent yes. island, whatever the hell it is. Oh god, we are so under level. Take down. Da 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 da. No. Take it. That's referencing. Are you referencing? Even fewer people have seen that than would have seen our previous one of this. Uh, well, we do, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, we are playing a bit of Final Fantasy VI. This is my favorite Final Fantasy game. It's actually one of my top ten favorite games of all time. Uh, if you want to see the full top ten, I'm doing it right now. The top ten. Top Blake's top ten games of all t- time. Number ten. Uh, just dancing around for no particular reason. Number nine. Number nine. Final Fantasy VI. Number, Number eight. eight. Uh, Blue Man Group. Just watching the Blue Man Group. That's a game for me. Number seven. Uh, that thing. The Number bingo. six. Uh, uh, Jumpman Junior. Number four. Uh, did you skip five? Okay. Um, it's uh, Hopscotch with small children as the rocks. Number five. <laughs> oh God, that was. I think that was um, live action chess, but nude. Number one. Uh, that's uh, Jumpman. Number three! Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. I've never played it before, but I, it has to be on every list of best games recently. Number two? I think we haven't said two yet. Yeah. Num- number two is um, uh, 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 juggling. Blake's no. top ten! Top ten games of all time! 
Oh my god, he put that top 10 of all time, but you know what he didn't mention is there's tons of games prior to the 1800s that he didn't even put on his list. And where's, uh, wh where's the Ocarina of Time? Where's Grand Theft Auto V? This isn't a list, it's more of an I'm pissed with how lame and bad Blake is at everything. Also, I represent his inner demon who tries to scream out but can't quelled by a nightmare world of co the bl English language combined with a goiter the size of his fist growing out of his anus. Good. Good. Oh my god, they're top 10. What a lame top 10. What about some more indie games? What about something that nobody's heard of, like Super Meat Boy? Nobody's heard of Super Meat Boy. That needs some more attention. Also, what about Minecraft? Or Minecraft sucks, actually, because I like indie things that are more recent than Minecraft. And somehow now it's bad. Of all time, time is a construct. <laughs> Fuck you guys and your fucking sense of time. I'm... My father... My mother was time. <laughs>